health seekers, it's Inga from Health Origins here. So tonight I forgot a super exciting recipe for you guys. I was experimenting the other day and, and thought of something called waffle burgers. So it's basically a veggie vegan burger, um, but instead of baked in the oven for example or fried, um, I bake it in the waffle iron. All right. So, um, so yeah. So I hope you are as excited as I am, and let's begin. So we've got our ingredients here, guys. It's quite a few ingredients, but um, burgers normally tend to have quite a few ingredients to make them, you know, yummy and tasty. Okay. So our base is going to be green lentils. So that's um, boiled green lentils or cook shall I say and then I've got some um, kidney beans these kidney beans I've, um, I've taken from a can so I've just um, rinsed and drained those okay then I've got one red uh, pointed pepper chopped in like about one and a half two centimeter um, squares and then the same with one onion so just chop roughly then I've got one uh, medium green chili I've got normally I would say use tomato paste but I haven't got any so I'll use some ketchup to give this um, say you know sourness a little bit you know then this umami from tomatoes and um, then I've got some brown rice flour so just over a cup so about a cup and one or two tablespoons we'll see how many we'll need then I've got I feel that <clears throat> because I'm not going to be frying these burgers in oil I'm going to be dry um, baking or making or cooking how you call it in the waffle iron I'm not going to use any oil I feel that um, it could benefit from adding a little bit of natural fat so this is tahini so um, a third of a cup of tahini okay then we've got chia seed mixture um, so this is kind of to act as a binder as an egg if you like so um, some people like using flax seeds and you can do however I find that flax seeds give their own specific taste whereas chia seeds are more neutral so they don't give their own taste um, so I had two tablespoons of whole chia seeds and then I've ground them and then I put 10 tablespoons of water in there and left it to rest for a few minutes and I've got this goopy mass called um, chia eggs and then we've got um, salt so we've got pink Himalayan salt, we've got some onion powder, got some garlic powder, smoked paprika powder and grout cumin um, and also some parsley. So I think it's the key to a great um, vegan veggie burger is to spice it um, adequately because if it doesn't have a lot of spices tends to um, taste very bland and not very nice okay so so yes yeah, so we'll be using my food processor here um, and mixing everything together in there and then you know we'll we'll um, do the final mixing in the bowl after that so let's put everything together in the food processor so we'll start with the veggies so I'll put my onion in Then my pepper, and then um, my chilies as well. Need to remember not to rub my eye with this now, guys. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just put a lid on and give this a chop. Best is to pulse it. A 
and also if this uh, if the veggies start sticking to the sides which they are a little bit you can scrape the sides and continue pulsing when until it's kind of um well it's not a f like a puree but kind of you know finer chopped Well, quite pungent from the onion, guys. I hope I'm not going to start crying. So that's, that's about right. And now I'm going to add the beans and the lentils. I'm gonna pulse it again after you pulse it a little bit check the consistency you know see if it's as smooth or as bitty as you like it right we don't want it too bitty but we don't want a mush either so it's kind of uh, an in-between yeah so this a few bigger pieces at the top so you could scrape those in and give it a couple more pulses and I think we'll be good right so I think that's it so I'm gonna transfer this to um, a bowl and we're gonna add all the spices and some ketchup and also chia um, and other well actually we also have the um, the tahini and the rice, the rice um, flour. So this is the kind of consistency we're looking for. Um, and you could add some fried and um, sorry mushrooms in here as well. I think it would, you know, give a nice umami taste too. So we've got the burger paste in the bowl, and we're going to be adding all other ingredients. So let's um, spice it first. So Basically, um, I'll add half a teaspoon of each of the powders and parsley um, and salt. So all the spices and salt, half a teaspoon each. So parsley. In fact, for onion powder, because I love it, I'll just put um, a tablespoon because it gives a really good flavor onion powder to all all savory recipes I think half a teaspoon of garlic powder got half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and also half a teaspoon of cumin so now give it a good mix to distribute the flavors it smells delicious really tasty so I'm going to add the tahini now. I 
that should um, give it the fattiness that normally um, meat burgers have. However, it's great because it's a whole food fat. Um, and also, I'll add the, um, the chia egg too and mix it all in. So the last thing left to add, actually oh, I didn't put any salt did I? Oops nearly forgot guys. We need some salt so half a teaspoon of salt. So the last ingredient left is the um, brown rice flour. We're going to add that last. So now this is nice uniform cohesive uh, sticky mass um, and we're going to add the rice flour, brown rice flour to, um, to help it you know bind and become a bit less sticky as well. In fact you could probably because we're going to do it in the waff iron um, waffle iron, sorry. I think you could probably skip this step because you're not going to be forming it with hands. So perhaps it's even better if your um, paste is a little bit looser. We'll have a look. Because the last um, burger I made. Um, in the waffle iron was with oats okay so this one I'm trying with the rice flour with oats I think it was it was probably too much oats and not enough of other ingredients it was a little bit too bready so I thought I'll try it with rice flour and um, this time to see how that tastes so obviously this is completely gluten free um, which is you know great for people who are avoiding gluten and um, we don't particularly avoid gluten it just happens to be gluten free this recipe so and the idea for waffle burger guys believe it or not um, I got from a, a, a just a general fast food place in London I was walking past and I seen in the window I kind of just second, basically I glanced at a scene on the window saying um, our famous waffle burgers or something. I was thinking waffle burger, what's that? And then I thought, why not try it? Why not try a vegan um, veggie burger and instead of, you know, baking it or frying, do it in a waffle iron? And when I tried it, it was really successful, guys, and I'm so, so excited about this. So I've got my burger mass ready, so I'm going to put my waffle iron on and we'll start cooking. Oh guys, and I nearly forgot to put my ketchup in. So instead of tomato paste or ketchup, you could also use perhaps some miso for a bit of um, sour flavour. So I'm going to just approximately put a couple of tablespoons of ketchup into this. And mix it in while my waffle iron is heating up there we go right so the light has gone green on this so it's ready sorry <laughs> and it actually smokes quite a bit so I might put a little bit of a fan on here so So basically you try and put the, the mass more evenly around here. Just kind of towards the middle and flat it out a bit and then close it. So we'll um, give it probably 3-4 um, minutes. Um, well, waffle iron actually, you know, t goes off and then it goes back on. The green light goes back on to see when it's ready. And actually, last time it was perfect timing. But um, I'll put a timer on 
just I'll do four minutes just so that we know how long it took us so the light came on and actually the alarm sounded maybe half a minute after so it's been four minutes and a bit maybe about five minutes so let's check wow this is looking perfect guys I could have probably filled it a little bit more to make it you know like a full shape but this oh it looks and smells delicious guys so um we'll make a few more and then um will get Mark to taste test them. Now I've got my waffles done as you can see um, and I made already one burger there but I'm gonna show you how I'm making these giant burgers. So I made these um, uh, buns like homemade buns if you like they're just like thicker wraps really so um, I made them tonight fresh So just putting some uh, avocado mayo so if you want um, you know to make yourself some whole food healthy avocado mayo that doesn't use no oil um, it's just coconut milk avocado and a few spices and um, go and find a video I've got a video on avocado mayo on my channel as well so I'm um, putting a good good spread of the um, avocado mayo on here because I like my um, my food burgers um, quite juicy quite saucy okay so we're gonna pop a couple of lettuce leaves on here so lettuce leaves gonna put the burger I'll put the smaller one because the bigger one is just gonna overshadow this whole um, whole um, bun um, so that and I've also made some um, sweet chili tomato sauce or ketchup so I'm gonna put some of that on here and then to top it off guys I've got some tomato, some homegrown tomato, a couple of slices that I'm going to put on here. Ta-da! And this is your um, waffle burger, guys. So I'll take this to Mark and let him sample it. This is exciting, guys. Yeah. We've got our taste tester here. Hi. <laughs> It's very late tonight, but um, you know I'm sure Mark will give it his best <laughs> to taste test this for you guys. Uh, I'm always ready to serve. <laughs> so yeah, so. So try try the burger first, yeah. Yeah, try just on its own and tell me what you think of the burger. Okay, the waffle burger. Waffle burger, yeah. Let me try it as well. Hmm. That's really good. Nice. Mmm. I like that. It's what it what's it made of? It's got something. It's a lot of lentils and beans. A bit of rice flour. Mmm. Yeah. I think guys you could probably get away without using rice flour to keep the burger less bready tasting, right? Because yeah. Uh, in the in the waffle iron, I think it's fine. It it doesn't need to be very stiff. You know, when you're forming it with hands, that's when you want it a little bit stiffer and a little bit um, you know, firmer. Whereas actually, it's probably even better in the waffle iron if it's a bit looser at the dough. So I think next time I'm gonna try the same recipe just without the um, rice flour, and I think that might taste even nicer. Mm. But yeah, so um, give it a bite. I go for the whole thing. <laughs> this is quite difficult. Can you hold the plate, please? Yeah. And then I can just. It needs two hands, guys. Now this How is about... my kind of food. <laughs> How about this burger? I think this side is a bit closer to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Co come for a close-up, guys. It. You have to see this, Seth. 
here we go. Mark, you need to bend down oh. a little. You're too tall. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Sorry, guys, I'm just way too tall for the camera. <laughs> that is fabulous, though. Yeah, everything together works. So much flavour. Quite fresh as well. It's not. It's not too heavy. Hmm. Just. I just want to eat it all. Can I eat it all? Um, that's for lunch for you tomorrow. So. <laughs> yeah, we've got some more. Yeah, if you want it, you can eat some. Yay! But um, <laughs> but there you go. Um, there you have it. My new invention, waffle burger. It's amazing because. Great thing about it is it doesn't use no oil, okay? I put a little bit of tahini inside it to have a bit this, you know, natural fat. You know how the burgers have a little bit of fat in them? So I think that's quite good. Um, and the great thing about it, it doesn't need oil, right? And also it gets like quite crusty on the outside and yet, you know, still quite juicy inside. Yeah? So... So I think, yeah, this is a great way. I think that's probably the, the way we're going to be making burgers from now on, guys. <laughs> so, I'm happy with that. Yeah. So let me know if you try this um, or if you try any other patty recipe you've got. Try it in the waffle iron and let me know if it worked for you. In fact, you know, if you want to put some, you know, awesome um, vegan burger recipes down in the comments below because I'm always open for even more amazing burgers. I know the one I also really liked was with sweet potatoes so maybe next time I'll try with sweet potatoes. But uh, but yeah guys, um, subscribe if you haven't done so, give us a thumbs up if you like this inventive recipe and till the next time guys. Bye! <laughs>